Welcome to this video. This is a collaboration between me and Stunspot. Stunspot has recently gone premium, so all of his prompts are now paywalled, except there are some free prompts, which are kind of like a free trial. Now, I just want to say I don't really mind that they've paywalled. I think Stun deserves to get some kind of reward for all of the hard work that he's put in. But I talked to him, and we're, we're actually pretty close. And I don't normally take sponsors, as you guys know. This isn't really a sponsorship. It's a partnership. And he has given us a free prompt, which I'm going to show you exactly how to use it to write content that has over 2,000 words. But not only does it have over 2,000 words, it has internal links, it has formatting, and it's going to rank on Google because it's going to be well-written content. So first of all, you want to join the Stun Stop Spun... Oh my God, Stun Spot Prompting. Discord, which you can find a link to in the description. While you're there, if you want to join mine, you can as well. I'll leave a link also to mine. Um, and once you've verified, you want to scroll down to uh, prompts and you want to click on prompts free. Once you're on prompts free, you want to find Sparkle, the content generation specialist. And you can just press download and this will open it somewhere for you to easily find out where it is. Uh, you can just click open file like this. That will put it into a text uh, reader. So this is the prompt. It's free, so I can show this. And even if, I mean, if you wanted to copy this, it would take you ages anyway, so it wouldn't even be worth it. Um, all you need to do is you need to take this prompt, and I've been testing this between ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4. I personally think that it's pretty much the same, and 3.5 is actually fine using this prompt. Let me just quickly show you what I wrote today using ChatGPT and this prompt. So I'll go on iSuit on the blog. I wrote a trending blog post. I also had my designers create this beautiful infographic, which you can see here. I'm really, really hoping to get this to rank on Google, but you can see that the content is really good. I like to embed products into the um, blog. I do that manually. It takes me about three, four minutes every article, so it's really not that bad. You can see that the content is very, very long here. And I really, really like this method for SEO. I prefer this to things like auto blogging, um, just because, yeah, I, I wasn't really a fan of auto blogging, to be honest with you. So we're going to paste this prompt and we're going to press enter. And you'll know if it's working if there is a sparkle here and a sparkle here. If there's not, then just try and run the prompt again. What I was experimenting with today is putting the, basically putting Sunspot's prompt. I just said Sunspot. Stun spots prompt with my SEO prompt. So I am a professional SEO. He is a master prompter. So I thought it'd be cool to kind of combine our two skill sets together. So what I told him to do was focus on quality of output. So if you actually look at the prompt, it has some interesting things in here like goal, Sparkle aims to captivate readers with original, punchy, and engaging content. Default style, GQ, which is a magazine on The Guardian, which is a British new newspaper, which most British people will know. Um, and then the rest of that stuff is just kind of building on that. And then what we do is we give it my prompt, the ISU content machine prompt. So what you want to do here is you just want to put the focus keyword. I'll leave all of the documentation in the description. So this is the Google Doc. You should really choose which internal links you want to include. I have too many here, so this isn't going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my iSuit uh, internal link sheet. So while that's loading, let's just paste this in. So this is the main part of the prompt. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I actually slightly changed the iSuit uh, prompt. So I'll put this as stunspot uh, slash ISS prompt. And this is what you'll find in the description. So what this does is at the beginning, it says write in parts, okay? But it's one cohesive article. This is really important. It has to understand this. Otherwise, it'll start talking about the same things. So that's why the prompt is slightly different. So write in parts, but it's one cohesive article. Do not use each internal link more than once throughout the entire article. Write the first one third of the article. Do not use emojis. And then the rest of the prompt is just my normal prompt that I always use to get the best content, okay? So it has look right with creativity and burstiness like a human, although Stun Spot's prompt already has that in. 
It mentions HTML, etc., etc. And then all you need to do is change the keyword. So the article topic is, you can get a keyword from any of my keyword methods. I have loads of keyword methods on my channel. Just look for any video that has the word keyword in. Copy this directly into the chat like this. And then we'll see what the output is like. Remember, this is ChatGPT 3.5. So sometimes you're going to see that it doesn't do the links properly, although this time it is doing the links properly, which is perfect. So what this is going to do is it's going to write um, a pretty similar article to the one earlier, to be honest with you. And then we're going to press continue generating so that it continues. And then we're going to say write two out of three like that, and it'll do exactly the same thing. Okay, so this is something you have to be careful of because I believe, I haven't checked this yet, but I will check in one second once it's finished generating this part. I think this is also H1, so you do have to be extremely careful with this. This will happen sometimes, especially with GPT 3.5. I am only using GPT 3.5 for this video. Normally, I would be using GPT 4. Yeah, so this is H1. So you would have to make a manual edit sometimes where you have to put an extra hashtag to make sure that it doesn't have um, more than one uh h1 okay that's quite important actually but if you look the the content is different okay so then we'll say write three out of three and then it's going to do that it's going to do the same thing again the important thing is that the content that is written is about different things if not then obviously you're going to have to regenerate the article okay so that's done uh it's not perfect but um, I, I would probably rerun this just because it hasn't fully understood that I want one cohesive article, uh, but that's fine. What I like to do here is I like to press copy here. This copies the markdown. It's literally perfect. It's a game changer for doing this kind of stuff, and I'll show you exactly why. It's so easy to edit, first of all. So all I'm going to do here is look for any where it's just one hashtag. So here, this needs another hashtag, for example. And then this needs to be restyled like that. Let's get rid of the emojis as well. This doesn't take very long at all, and you won't normally have to do all of this. It's just sometimes it will mess up a little bit, and you will have to do a little bit of uh, manual editing. Okay, so let's do the final control V. We'll scroll up, put a hashtag here, and we'll get rid of this, and we'll write uh, timeless elegance with sartorial suits for example, because I saw that section was about suits. Okay, so now what we do is we copy this and we put it, we go to mark down to HTML and we control V. And what you want to always do here is, first of all, let's check how many words it's written. Let's get rid of that. Let's see how many internal links there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's quite quite a high amount, so we'll just keep it there, to be honest with you. I'm happy with that amount of internal links. I know a lot of people use less internal links, but I prefer to have more just because there's a lot of pages that I'm trying to rank at the same time. So this is the content that it came out with. It hasn't given me any lists, so I am going to run this again. I'm going to do the exact same process, this time with ChatGPT4, and we can compare the output and uh, you can see whether you guys think it's worth uh, paying for Pro or not. However, the word count is 1,530, which is extremely good for ChatGPT content. Anyone that doesn't use something like the Playground is probably used to getting maybe 600 words, 1,000 words. So 1,500 is definitely good, but I think we can do even better with ChatGPT4. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but this time we're going to use ChatGPT4. I'm curious, actually, did I use GPT-4 or 3 earlier? This is the article that's currently live. I used 3.5, so yeah, we'll see what it's like with ChatGPT-4. Let's do the same process. And we'll take the same prompt like this. Okay, and then we'll say go. In my opinion, the output will be better. It will understand better that I want one cohesive article instead of three articles split into three parts. For some reason, GPT 3.5 doesn't really deal very well with that concept. It's like completely alien for ChatGPT 3.5, but ChatGPT 4 seems to deal with that a little bit better. So I'll wait for this to finish and we'll see. Although ChatGPT 4 has got a lot quicker, I must say.
So look at that, that's some new HTML that we didn't have before. I really, really like it when it does these quotes. Um, yeah, it really, really adds to the article in my opinion. And it does do that fairly often, to be fair. It's not something that only happens like very infrequently. It does actually happen a lot. It, it's just not stopping. I didn't say write two out of three yet. It's just, it's just continuing. It doesn't want to stop. I think it's going to write like 3000 words without me even telling it to. So a really good tip here is if you want to kind of push the article in a certain direction, then just use different internal links. So if you want to write, you know, about summer brands, for example, and you have a specific brand that has linen shirts, you can mention that brand and the fact that they sell linen shirts or whatever. And ChatGPT will pick up on that and it will write the article in a different way. So what I did was I did exactly the same prompt, but this time I just gave it my designers and I gave it a few blog posts like this to internally link. And you can see the article is completely different now. And what this does as well is it frees up the memory a little bit because there is a slight problem with the memory in this method if you have too many internal links. So I'm going to say write two out of three here. I had to rerun it because it got stuck. Um, that, that can also just happen sometimes with ChatGPT. It's nothing to worry about. Okay, so that's now done. One of the last things I like to do is I like to say, can you write a bullet point summary of the article to put at the top? This is ChatGPT4's attempt. Let's see the keywords. I would do this even if you have a table of contents. I think this, this is just a nice little touch that helps people understand what they're about to read. Okay, so copy. Let's go to the markdown. Let's go here. Scroll down, press copy, let's go down here, and scroll down, copy. Sorry if you can hear the cat, guys. Paste. Uh, we'll do it without the bullet points first, just to, so it's a fair comparison. Let's compare these two. Word count, 898. So ChatGPT 3.5 <laughs> produced a lot more content, interestingly enough. And then with the bullet points, but you can do the bullet points with 3.5 as well. It's not exclusive to um, ChatGPT4. Let's get rid of all the emojis real quick. I think that's all of them except the first one. No, nope, that's all of them. Okay, let's see how many words this article is in total. This needs to be at the top, not at the bottom, obviously. And then all you need to do after this is copy and paste this directly into whatever um, CMS you are using. So WordPress, Shopify, whatever. This is now a fully formatted article that will literally just copy and paste directly into wherever you post your content. So we'll click tools, word count, 1057. It's really interesting. I th Strangely enough, I actually think ChatGPT 3.5 is better at writing longer content. Whether you want longer content or snappier content i guess is up to you i think this is fairly snappy you can see that each sentence i, I think this beginning is a little bit broad let's uh, put space there it's just good to format it like this because otherwise people will just start reading it and get bored immediately so yeah this is currently what i am doing like i showed you earlier this is the article that i wrote and i'm currently doing these as well well not me my team is doing these graphics uh, for me as well and the plan is to produce some extremely high level content and see what happens. I'm really curious to know how Google reacts to this kind of content. So let's check. I did not submit this to Search Console. I have checked if it's indexed. Uh, I checked earlier, but I haven't checked recently if it is indexed. It is indexed. Perfect. It's that easy. Uh, I wrote this at two o'clock today, so four hours ago, and it's indexed. Um, already and I didn't even ask for it to be indexed. I personally think this will rank really really well I've got high hopes for it and we'll see what happens. But yeah, shout out to Sun Stun Spot for giving us a free prompt that we can use specifically for SEO writing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very very soon with some more content. Peace out.